Welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple weeks. I've been moving. We are officially in New York City. We are living in Brooklyn and I've had some time off of work just to get adjusted and with the whole big move, it was like a lot. So I've just been chilling and of course doing some thrifting. And so for my first video, back and my first video um, in a new place, I wanted to do a little thrift haul. I've been doing some thrifting. It's been very fun. So I went to three different places. I went to Buffalo Exchange, a Goodwill, and then like a curated vintage shop. And I was super excited because I've never been to a Buffalo Exchange. So it was my first time and I found the best pants ever. These pants are so good. They fit me so well. They are by a brand I've never heard of before. It's Philip Jim, but they're just a great like workwear piece. I really love, obviously I love hyper feminine, bright pink frills, glitter, all that, but I really like to kind of incorporate more masculine pieces. I really like to incorporate more masculine pieces into casual wear. I feel like a pair of tailored suit pants. It just like kind of elevates that cool, comfy, model off duty look that I'm always kind of like searching and lusting after. Suit pants are so, so comfy. They literally feel like sweatpants, but you just look so much like, so much cooler. So these are just freaking awesome. They are a like pinstripe. So they're like a dark charcoal gray with light gray stripes and they're high waisted and they have these fun like tassels on the side. I, when I tried these on, first of all, so many thrift shops still don't have their um, fitting rooms open. So I haven't been able to try something on, like try on a thrifted piece in the store in so long. So that alone made my experience like so much better just being able to try it on and really see if it would fit me or not. Because typically I would pass up on a pair of pants because I have a very small waist and a bigger butt and that is always so hard to find pants for. And so I, for pants, I like really need to, um, try them on. These fit as if they were made for me, as if they were hand tailored for my body. They fit me so good and I was just so thrilled. Um, I will put in little clips of me like trying stuff on so you can see. And I also took a really cool outfit picture. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's always linked below. I have just been having fun over there with some outfit pics. Um, but yeah, I love these. They're a little bit cropped. They're like a straight leg. Um, I think these will be great all year round. I could definitely wear these with some like riding boots for the winter. I just wore these with some hokas and some higher socks. These will be great for the summer. They're just like, this might be my new favorite clothing piece. I just feel like I was missing something like this. This is a really good staple and now I am on the hunt for a wide leg pair. So I've got my cropped, I've got my straight leg and now I'm really, really itching for a wide leg pair. But yeah, very pleasantly surprised by these. Can't say enough good things. Then the second thing I got there was this sweater. Obviously I'm a lover of pink. Every time I wear pink, I just get so many compliments. People are like, that's your color. And I always feel like myself in pink, especially this hot, hot pink magenta. So this is a gap sweater. It's in a size medium. I feel so good in this. I don't really have a lot of chunky knits because obviously I just moved from Hawaii to New York. So I don't really have a lot of warm clothing. So I was kind of looking for something like this and this was perfect. The thing about going to like a Buffalo exchange is that the prices are higher. I think I paid 28 for the pants and then this I paid 15 for. They were originally higher, but they were both like on sale. So you pay more for these prices, but it's already been curated. Um, so sometimes if you're not in the mood for thrifting, like a good deep thrift, because when you go thrifting, honey, you gotta dig, you gotta be in the mood, you gotta be in the mindset to really like <laughs> get your elbows deep in into the gross, gross grimy clothes to find the goodies. And when you don't wanna do that, you can go to something like a Buffalo Exchange and everything is clean, everything has been steamed, everything has like measurements tagged on it. So it was very nice. You pay the premium for somebody to do the work for you. And I'm a Poshmark reseller, so I definitely know that a lot of work goes into preparing these items. So I'm okay with paying more when I don't want to dig, if you know what I mean. So $15 for this might be pricier than what I would pay at like a Salvation Army. I'd probably pay like four bucks. At the Goodwill, I'd probably pay like seven, um, but it was worth it. And I really love it. I tried it on. It's great, chunky. I also took an outfit picture with this where I wore those pants as well. Like I said, I've been freaking loving those pants. And I just feel like this color is just very, very me. And it's a very good, like just the cut of this is very nice. Um, um, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just really chunky. It's got like white, navy blue, and yellow woven into it. It just gives it kind of like this, just gives it a little bit of character. 
and I love it and it's super warm, which is exactly what I need. So those are the things that I got from Buffalo Exchange. Now let's move on to Goodwill. I went to the Goodwill. I don't get keep, so let me tell you. So I went to the Goodwill in Greenwich and that is on 44 West 8th Street. If you're in New York and you go to that, you're probably gonna see me there a lot because it was so good. The thrifting there was so, so good. And we we couldn't stay for very long because my husband had a school appointment. So I think we were there for maybe an hour, maybe less, like 45 minutes to an hour. And most of the stuff from this haul was from this Goodwill. Everything was so good. I was just so shocked. So the very first thing that I picked up, sorry if you can hear this chair, it's like the leather is really squeaky. And I have a window cracked because it's so hot. We have one of these like old radiators and you cannot control the heat on it you can't control the temperature so it's just like blazing and um it's really hot so i have a window cracked so yeah <laughs> new york city things so this crew neck was literally like one of the first things that i touched and i was like oh my god so cute this is a bala bands they make those like really trendy ankle weights like the hand weights you know what i mean i'll put them here so this is the bala bands it's an extra small it's a little snug on me so i have it listed on my poshmark as always if you shop for my poshmark leave a comment that you're from this video and i'll give you a good deal it's this really really pretty pastel pink it's just giving like ballet core i wish this was in a medium or even a large i would just absolutely die like <laughs> this with some leggings and chunky white socks white sneakers and my headphones like hot girl walk would be so cute i'm also really impressed by the quality like the tag even like the tag is really nice um this is all embroidered in. it's a really thick crew neck like this is a great great find honestly so yeah a little sad that's not my size like it could work right like it fits me but i just would like a crew neck to be a little oversized so yeah i am selling it but super cool to find nonetheless then this next piece i am so thrilled to wear i still need to wash it so i haven't been able to wear it yet this is a columbia i'm not sure if it's vintage or not yeah i don't know it's kind of hard to say and maybe it's not vintage maybe it's just like older from like 2008 2010 something that i have been lusting after is the Free people hit the slopes jacket, but it's like $140, $160, which is way too much money for a zip up fleece jacket. But I really have been loving that silhouette. I think it looks really good and it's really cute. And so when I found this, I was like, oh my God, this is like a perfect dupe for the hit the slopes jacket, right? It's got that little pocket that's navy blue and then just this really, really great fleece. It's cozy. This is in a size small, but it kind of fits like a medium. So yeah. It's like an oversized small. Same kind of vibes, would look really cute on a morning walk or head to the gym, just running some errands. Something else I'm on the hunt for is like a navy blue and white striped turtleneck or sweater. A blue and white striped turtleneck underneath this would be so cute. This is like giving hot girl at the ski lounge who doesn't ski. That's me. I'm Skiing terrifies me. And so I just want to be hot. <laughs> I just want to be cute and walk around in my little fleece, have a big headband, big mittens for no goddamn reason, sipping some cocoa, watching my stuff, watching my husband's stuff. That's uh, where I would wear this. So this is already a win in itself. I just loved it. I love the color. I've been really loving bright pops of color. And then I looked in the pocket and I found a Lululemon scrunchie. I don't usually find stuff in pockets when I thrift, so whenever that happens, I'm like super excited. I'm still I'm still waiting to find money in a pocket. I've never find, found money while thrifting, but that's like a thrifting check I need to get off of my list. These are also on my Poshmark. These are some, is it? Okay, <laughs> tell me in the comments. Is it A-L-O or is it Allo? I myself am a Lulu girl. These do fit me, but um, I wasn't like totally obsessed. They have some mesh paneling. So these are on my Poshmark if you are interested. If you like these leggings, head over there. My Poshmark is always linked down below. Also just a really great brand. Was excited to see it and I know that these are sell. So I'm trying to get back into my Poshmark game. Um, all of my stuff that I was reselling is like on a ship across the ocean. So I deleted everything from my Poshmark and I'm like starting fresh, which kind of sucks because I only have five listings on there right now. The more listings you have, the better you do and it like pushes you out to the algorithm. So I don't really have that much stuff out. If you're interested, you can go check it out i had, do have some kind of cool vintage pieces on there and some good brands like this i did also find a pair of lululemon leggings at the goodwill that weren't marked up but uh after looking at them they had a little tiny hole a little tiny snag and it just like wasn't worth it to me especially since they weren't in my size and they would have been something i would have 
resold. Past me would have been like, oh, but it's a good brand. Like I should try to save it. No, like I'm only thrifting pristine pieces. And so that brings me to my last piece that I got at Goodwill and this, okay, this was marked up. So I paid $45 for this, which is so annoying. I don't know who Goodwill thinks they are, okay? I don't know what they think. Like, they get this stuff for free, so. It is, it is so annoying, but I couldn't pass it up <laughs> because this is selling for $300. So, let me just show you. It is a Tory Burch wool cape, like poncho cape, and it has these awesome little holes for your arms so you can take your arms out. It is fabulous. This is so cool. I originally bought it to resell, but I think I might keep it. <laughs> it's an extra small, but because it's a cape, you really can't like, I don't know, it fits like a medium, I would say. I feel like these are more like one size fits all pieces, so. But yeah, these are literally going for $300. This was originally a $450 wool cape. I just love it. It makes me feel like English royalty. Kate Middleton who? Kate Middleton me. <laughs> My style is very all over the place, right? So I love these bright colors. I love more funky pieces, but then I also like to wear neutrals, black head to toe with a wool cape and look like an English woman exploring the countryside of her cottage. I just feel like this is such a staple piece I'll have in my wardrobe forever. I was kind of playing around with it to make outfits and I have this really cool black turtleneck that has ruffles at the top that I thrifted last year. And it just looks so good with this. Um, this is just like a great little addition to make any piece look really cozy, but also really elevated. Like you could wear this with some really slouchy jeans, a really slouchy sweater, and then you add this on top. And I feel like it just brings that elegance in. I guess that's the perfect word to describe. This piece is it's very elegant, timeless. I feel like such a baddie. <laughs> so I, you know, it was a little more pricey, but I don't regret it one bit. I think this is just Stunning, stunning, I couldn't believe it. And while we were there, my husband found a Ralph Lauren jacket and it was purple label. If you know thrifting, you know what purple label means. That's like the most expensive of Ralph Lauren. And they marked that for $30, but it was like a $1,000 suit jacket. I probably could have sold it for like $600, $300 around there. Uh, but the lighting on it, it had been like tailored and it was kind of like weird. So again, leaving behind things that aren't in perfect condition even if they are kind of these really cool pieces. Yeah, that Goodwill was crazy. And like I said, we only spent an hour in there. It was really small, but it, they like utilized the space really well. I was very like surprised. And it also seemed to be a, a little bit more of a curated Goodwill. Like, you know, when you go to Goodwill and like half of that shit is like tacky dog mom kind of t-shirts. They didn't have any of that. Like everything in there was good. So again, worth spending a little more to find those were that really like good stuff. I can't wait to go back. Maybe I'll go back today. Today I'm just kind of having like a girl date day by myself. So maybe I'll go back to the Goodwill today because I could probably spend like three hours in there, no joke, which yeah, so weird because it was so small, but amazing if you are super into thrifting and you either live here or you're visiting, definitely go. It was really easy to get to, really clean. And the last place that I went was this vintage shop in Brooklyn. I got off the train and I was walking home and it's, uh, I've walked past it like a couple times and I've always wanted to go. So I was like, oh, let me just pop in and the store is actually closing so everything was half off and I got this super cool super killer jacket so they originally had it marked for 90 but it was half off so it was 45 which again is a little steep but this is Adele Simpson it's a brand I never heard of before but I was doing some research and this brand this designer is so cool like she was like the OG Kate Spade. She has designs ranging from like the 60s to the 90s and they are like so colorful, such great prints. Really, really reminded me of Kate Spade and like tell me this isn't a jacket that Kate Spade would put out, right? So I found this jacket for sale online and it comes with a dress and the dress and suit together were selling for 280. So I feel like I got a good deal. The only thing I'm, I'm having a hard time styling it because I just don't know how to style these kind of blazers that are straight on me. I like a collar, so I'm kind of like, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I really want to incorporate it into an outfit because it is so killer. It's got light shoulder pads. It's kind of got a cropped sleeve. Uh, when I was playing around with it, actually I put it over this sweater and it looked okay. Yeah, I don't know whether to like play it up with some more color. Like I have this really bright sweater, but I also have a bright green turtleneck that matches the green on the leaves. So do I go that route into like maximalism color or do I go maybe a more subtle route with a black turtleneck? 
I'm not sure. I think they both work, but I'm really excited to style this. I think it's just so cool. The print just really got me. And that is the haul. I hope you enjoyed. I've been having a super fun time thrifting. It's so interesting to me, like comparing thrifting in Hawaii versus comparing thrifting to Wisconsin, where I'm from. And then my husband's family is from Pennsylvania. So we did a little bit of thrifting there. So it's kind of cool to see like what each state has. It feels good to be back, to be able to make content. Uh, I was kind of out of it for a little bit with moving. It was a lot. I mean, moving 5,000 miles is gonna put a strain on you. And if you are in New York City and you know the good thrift spots, please let me know. Comment down below or slide into my Instagram DMs. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.